Hello everyone. Today we're going to help you understand how you can use Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps to protect the use of Copilot for Microsoft 365. So if you have used Copilot for Microsoft 365, you noticed how easy it makes it to find and summarize data within your environment. Sometimes even a bit too easy, as we could imagine a malicious user getting access to a simple account and being able to find relevant data very quickly. Hence the need for extra control of your user activities, and this is exactly what we're going to check here with Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps. This video is a step-by-step on-demand session, which means that by the time you finish watching it, you will understand the points that are here. You'll be able to understand the new features of Defender for Cloud Apps with regards to Copilot. You'll be able to investigate the alerts that are built in. You will learn to use advanced hunting to gather Copilot-related activity data and to create your own detections. Before you go further, you need the following prerequisites here. Licensing for Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps and for Microsoft Copilot for Microsoft 365. And also access rights to Defender for Cloud Apps and advanced hunting. Let's dive straight into it. First, we'll simulate a potential attack. Our user here, Alex, has been compromised. And a malicious user is leveraging its account to be able to gather data about the organization. So our bad actor is uh, making a quick query, asking for financial information about a specific project that the organization is working on. And so within a few seconds, we learn all about this project Obsidian, and we even have sources that tell us which files contain the information that are relevant to us. And our malicious user can now exfiltrate anything he needs. At this point, you understood that we're not gonna let this happen this way, and we're gonna leverage Microsoft Defender for Cloud App to detect that kind of behavior. So open the Microsoft 365 Defender portal, and under Incidents and Alerts, click on Incidents. Here we're going to look for the relevant alert ID, and we want to know anything about Copilot today. Let's learn how to investigate this. We will click on the first one here. You can see the title here. Suspicious interaction with Copilot for Microsoft 365, finance related file access. We detected that the file may contain financial information, which is obviously highly sensitive. You can then look at the details of the alert. You can see which user is impacted. And you can see a few more details about the alerts. Where did it happen from? Ti titles, IP address, all this information that you need to be able to investigate more in depth. Now, if you want to go even deeper than that, we have an option for you. You can go under the hunting category and click advanced hunting. This will allow you to make very detailed queries about the activity that are happening in the environment. Let's go with a sample query here. We're gonna to try to identify anything that's actually related to that super secret project of ours, Project Obsidian. Let's type the query. You're welcome to use that query in your environment and replace it with the relevant keywords that would match your important projects or important assets. Now let's have it compute for the past 30 days. And let's click to see the results. We can see a few events here and we can look at the details. Number one, you will see that it gives us a, a bit more information. You're also able here to gather the file names that were accessed, which can be very valuable. And we're also getting anything that has to do with this project Obsidian. Now, if this is something that is really relevant to us, we'll just create a detection rule 
so that anytime somebody queries information and access files that are related with this project, we will be able to have an alert and our SOC will be able to respond very quickly. Make sure you put in the right settings for this alert, the title that will help us recognize it, the relevant severity, and the category. Then you can click next and you can choose how to recognize the impacted entity. In our case, the impacted entity is the user and you want to decide what actions you're going to do with that user. In our case, we can mark it as compromised so that in Entra ID, the user will be marked as compromised and alerts related to him or her will be having a higher impact. Thank you all for watching. We hope this was valuable to you and please follow us for more videos on similar topics.